Hello friends! In today's video we'll be talking about object styles in Adobe InDesign so let's get on with it. Let's begin with creating a new letter sized document. Once my document is created I'm going to grab the text tool to make a text box for the heading of the document and then let's give it a name and make it a little bigger as well. Now I'm going to create another text box on the left for some text and then a right click on it and fill it with placeholder text. I'd like a few images on the right side of the page but all my images are too big in size so what I'm going to do is place one image here and then set my object style based on that image and then I'd apply the style to my other images. So let's place our first image here by going to file and then place and locate the image and then place it onto the document. Alright, since the image is too big, I'm going to drag it down to the size that fits my page and since it's just a frame that has gotten smaller and not the image, I'm going to right click on the image and uh, go to fitting and then select fit content to frame and my image is perfectly placed here now. I'd also like to add a stroke of around two points. Let's have uh, blue as our stroke color. Now I'm going to go to window and then styles and choose object styles from there. Please ensure that the image is selected when we are creating the style. In the object styles panel click on the small plus button at the bottom which is for creating new style and rename it to anything I am going to rename it to images and then double click on the left of the word images to open the settings panel in the settings panel go to size and position options on the left and from the size option click on the adjust drop down and select height and width which means we want the image to have the current size in this style. Once you're done here scroll down to frame fitting options on the left again and under content fitting select fit content to frame option and then hit OK. Alright so our image object style is created now so let's go to file and place and add three more images to our document. Now place the images carelessly anywhere without even thinking twice how big or small the image is. Alright let me zoom out a bit for a better view. Alright now select an image and click on the images object style we created and you'll find it reducing itself to the set size. You'll also find that it has a blue border around like in our sample image. So select the other two images as well one by one and click on the images object style to apply it to them. So I'm going to quickly arrange all my images to one side of the page and let's delete one image as we don't have enough space here. Let's move on to another very nice feature of object style. I have a shape made in Illustrator so let me go to Illustrator. I'm going to just copy this shape from here using command C on a Mac or control C on a PC and then do a command V on a Mac and control V on a PC to paste it in InDesign. Copying and pasting anything is pretty easy between Adobe applications. Alright now suppose this is a logo of the company and each time it appears I want it to appear on exactly the same place where it is now. So I'm going to select the shape and from the objects panel I'm going to create another style by clicking on the plus icon on the bottom and let's rename it to logo and much like earlier let's double click to open the settings. We need to go to size and position options once again as we want the size to remain unchanged and this time we also want the position to be fixed. So let's change size option to height and width and then move on to the position option from where we can select X and Y which means from both the axes we want it to remain where it is at this point and hit OK. 
I'm going to move my shape now to the side and copy and paste the shape once again from Illustrator. As you can see, the shape has pasted itself somewhere else. In fact, let's move it to the left a little. Okay, now with the shape selected, let's click on the logo option from the styles panel and you'll find the logo move to its set position instantly. If you explore object styles, you'll find there are loads of other options you can set and make your lives simpler now that you know how to set it. Alright guys, so that's all about object styles in Adobe InDesign. If you've enjoyed this video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.